I've gotten over what happened to me at Pleasant Park. To this day, no one believes me, and it hurts. But I know one day, it will happen again. I know I said I got over it, and I did. I've just learned to accept the thing that I saw. It will haunt me forever. It's only a matter of time, and I just hope someone is with me the next time it happens. I play duos now, or even squads. I won't touch a game alone, just in case. There's a hurricane coming, and it's looking to be a simple storm. So my parents and I stayed. My one friend Justin, he and his parents also stayed behind as well. We were confident that we could ride out the storm with some good old Fortnite. I could see the storm rolling in and the clouds in my viewpoint. Lightning was streaking across the sky. I got my headset on and started up Fortnite. I invited Justin. I never told Justin about what happened. I didn't think he would believe me anyway. I didn't want to go to Pleasant Park, but Justin, he was adamant about landing there. It was his favorite spot. I didn't want to tell him why I didn't want to go there, and I eventually gave in. We landed there, and I started to panic a little. Calm down, you've had tons of therapy for this. The first circle came. Pleasant was still in it. The next circle came. Pleasant was there. The next. The next. Until now, there were only three duos teams left. And that's right, the circle was indeed ending Pleasant Park. The storm outside was picking up. I knew that thing I saw was going to make an appearance again. I was just sure of it. I was asking Justin if he felt fine, if anything felt off to him. He told me he thought everything was normal and everything was great. He wondered if I was okay though. I was acting weird, he said. Oh, Justin, you have no idea what's coming for us. Justin was running and playing the game. Then he stopped mid-run as if something scared him. Justin? Hello? He was gone. His mic cuts on. I told you. I am always with you. I am your fears, your worries, your concerns. You worry about losing a friend, and he is lost. He... He had control of Justin. I called Justin's phone, it just kept on ringing and ringing. After that, he starts walking. His mic cuts back on yet again and Justin's here. He asked me what was wrong. I asked him if he remembered anything. He told me no. I told him we need to get off for the night, something bad could happen, we just can't play anymore. He believed me and we got off. I went to bed, right as I'm about to fall asleep. My room lights up with lightning, and I see him, yet again. And he says, I am always with you. So you are. I hope no one else has to deal with this. Until next time. <laughs>